let me show you just some of the um, features that are available for commercial layout of cabinets for the commercial shop and auto cabinets. Um, if we click the wall command here, this opens up the wall dialog box. I'm just going to type in the length of a wall and tell it to draw the wall on the screen for me. Uh, there's your wall, 144 inches. If I want to attach a wall to this, I'm just going to move this here. Again, I'm working with a reduced size screen for the video capture, but I'm going to type in 36 inches to the wall here. Select the angle and draw. So as soon as that's done, you have your two uh, walls. I'm going to go to the library here. We'll go to commercial, uh, just a standard base. It can be a wide range of cabinetry, uh, but we're going to take a, it uh, can be radius work as well, but we'll take just a standard base cabinet. Again, just the idea is to give you just an overview of some of the features that are available to you and how easy it is to create a completed drawing in auto cabinets. I'm going to tell it I want it to start uh, four inches from that wall. You can move the screen down, take a little peep, and if you can't remember exactly where you're working, to see exactly what the room layout looks like. So I want to start four inches from the left. I'm going to select the distance on screen, put four cabinets across there, and I'm also going to put a filler in that corner. So when I select uh, insert, I'm just going to select the start position and end position for my cabinet run. That will give you your four cabinets across there evenly spread out with your one inch filler in the corner. Uh, I'm going to go back to the library. Go ahead and choose uh, just a standard upper for this. Select insert. Again, here I've got the cabinets here to snap to so it becomes really easy to position the cabinets exactly over the existing cabinets. I'm just going to tell them four cabinets and the filler against the end. And all I'm going to have to do is just snap to that and snap to that. And we have your four cabinets, your four base cabinets and your four uppers uh, numbered and identified for you. You can look at your elevation, see your elevation of the cabinets, uh, your 3D is also done for you and we can also render that. We'll cover that in a different video. Uh, I'm going to go back to the plan view. I'm going to uh, click on the countertop options here and uh, just tell it to draw. And again I'm working on reduced size screen so usually I'll, I could just slide this out of the way but I kind of want you to see what it's going to do here. And There's your top. Uh, I'm going to put uh, the splash on it as well to draw the splash and just choose where I want the splash to start and where I want it to end and add the splash to that. So as soon as that's done you have your elevations, we have your 3D's done, uh, but for getting your submittals done and something to the shop uh, to get this thing into production. We have our master plan drawing which automatically lays out the elevation or the elevation and the plan view. Uh, if I want a cross section of these cabinets anywhere I can just choose the cross section option, choose which way I want it to look, give it any type of label I want to give it and tell it OK. And I can go place this cross section anywhere in this drawing that I want to place the cross section. Uh, if um, if you want to go ahead and put uh, your uh, typicals in there, typical drawings and stuff like that, so you don't have to come back and add all the annotations to this, we can just go to blocks, insert a block. We'll go to our cabinet section details. I'll just choose these details, and we're going to bring those again. It's attached to your mouse automatically. I'm just going to bring those and set those in. So there's this set of cabinets that have been totally detailed for you uh, with all your notes, your annotations, uh, ready to be submitted and printed. Uh, you can come back here and turn off the fill mode 
and see any view you want to see. Um, for printing, uh, if I click on the, uh, the sheets, you can have as many sheets as you want. I can simply arrange any type of a view. If I want to just print the wall view, the cabinets, I can print that. I can zoom out here a little bit and choose to print this much of the drawing. Or I can lay out multiple viewports on the same page. You have multiple print options and stuff like that. Again, this is just meant to give you an overview of some of the features that are available to you uh, from your different looks. And again, we're in paper space here, so you have one sheet that's laid out like this or however you want it. You can go to another sheet, uh, come in here and choose just to print the the floor plan. Uh, and again, the sheet sizes, these are 11 by 17, it can be 24 by 36, it can be 8.5 by 11. It's totally user defined on the way it prints and shows and displays uh, the cabinets. Uh, again, this is just meant to give you an overview of some of the features that are available to you. Uh, I can uh, refill the drawings. Um, again, thank you for your time. Uh, and look forward to talking to you. Thank you.